So from the observational study we did for assignment two, I found that the participant was averaging just under 9,000 steps per day, um, which one study said this was somewhat active. And the participant was also achieving 206 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week and 120 of vigorous intensity exercise per week, which was well above the national guidelines. Um, this reduces the participant's risk of developing dementia and Alzheimer's later in life. Also, the, uh, reduces the risk of coronary heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, as well as obesity. However, all these um, exercise minutes were primarily coming from walking or jogging. So the participant was not involved in any strength exercise, balance or flexibility exercises either, which increases the risk of developing osteoporosis later in life, um, poor balance or increased risk of falls later in life, and also a decrease in joint range of motion. The other thing I found was the participant was quite sedentary at work. Uh, they reported they would sit for seven and a half hours per day without standing up. Um, this increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. So the co social cognitive theory is the theory that I'm incorporating into my 12 week program. It involves cognitive factors or personal factors, which include knowledge, expectations, attitudes, or past experiences. Behavioral factors, which include skills, practice, self-efficiency, and environment factors, social norms, access in the community, influence on others. And all these factors are determinants of human behavior, and they can affect human behavior. So. Another aspect of this theory is it involves self-efficacy. Um, this can be by goal setting. So setting a goal in which you truly believe you can achieve through persistence, as well as overcoming obstacles to reach that goal. This theory is proven to modify behavior, not just in exercise, but also diet and other aspects of life. So I'll be incorporating social aspects of this theory to the program as a participant reported they enjoy exercising with their friends and I'll also be incorporating goal setting into this program. So here's uh, one week from my 12 week program. Not ever, it's not as I've left out a few details as I didn't want to cry, uh, crowd the slide. But here you can see Monday, the participant's got a 45-minute jog. Tuesday's upper body strength. Wednesday, a 45-minute jog. Thursday, uh, lower body strength exercises. Friday, balance and flexibility. So I thought they could go to yoga or Pilates with their friends. Uh, Saturday was abdominals and lower banks, back strength exercises. And Sunday, a one-hour walk. So I've tried to incorporate what the participant was already doing with the jogs and the walk. Um, and then, yeah, incorporated strength, balance and flexibility to meet the national guidelines. So the goal of this program was to reduce the risk of adverse health effects previously mentioned from not meeting the guidelines of strength, flexibility or balance.